And cigarettes will no longer be displayed in shops under new rules to be introduced by the government. More on that story now. The government's uh, looking at changing cigarette boxes into plain packets without branding. Well, talking of branding, an expert on this subject is Alison Stewart Allen. She works for International Marketing Partners, joins me now. Um, very good evening to you, Alison. What difference do you think this makes to uh, the sales of cigarettes? Well, uh, clearly, this uh, initiative is trying to target and dampen. A demand from children who take up smoking. And while it might temporarily uh, suppress their interest, uh, it's certainly not going to have a significant long-term impact uh, unless you combine it with a lot of other initiatives. This, you know, might be good as a short-term tactic, but actually if really stopping smoking uh, 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 across all age groups is your intention, then you actually have to stop the way it's marketed in every possible form of outlet. That's online, that's at retail, that's through celebrity endorsement, it's through giveaway at nightclubs, it's everything. Um, I mean, they appear to want to take it off the shelves and uh, if you see a packet to sort of cloak it in anonymity, uh, it's sort of heading towards prohibition and that didn't stop people drinking, did it? And if, in fact, you uh, had people making their own toxic, even more toxic, uh, brews as a result. Uh, you know, while I, I think it's a good idea to certainly take a number of steps uh, to curb demand, because we know that there are social costs, there are health costs to individuals, there are costs to people uh, at work and employers, uh, you actually have to do this as part of a bigger strategy, an integrated approach where you stop a number of initiatives, not just a one-off knee-jerk uh, sort of uh, response, which this appears to be, rather than a whole holistic campaign. Uh, is your feeling that it's a bit of a quick fix and rather a cosmetic job rather than a root and branch change of our whole cigarette culture and our response to it? Well, it, f it does appear that way. We haven't heard other messages that this is part of a bigger, wider, longer term uh, initiative. Uh, so it, I don't get the impression uh, from having read uh, the statements today that this is part of a much bigger, wider picture. I mean, if you think actually about what drives cigarette smoking, part of it is if your parents are smokers or your relatives are sm smokers or people you admire are smokers, then the probability is fairly high that you too will also be a smoker. So if you stop the cycle earlier, uh, then you're probably going to stop the kids wanting to even smoke in the first place. Cigarette firms are remarkably resilient. They've lasted for decades, despite everything that's been thrown at them on the medical front, on the marketing and branding front, on uh, no smoking indoors and so on. Um, presumably, they will find a way around this as well, won't they? Well, you know, uh, there's a lot at stake here, and of course they're going to try to find workarounds. Uh, there's a lot of money uh, at stake, there's brand reputations at stake, there's heritage uh, at stake, there's a lot of jobs at stake. Uh, so, you know, it's not beyond the realms of possibility to think that they'll come up with techniques like maybe a rubber uh, box cover that has all of the branding and livery on it like you have in the supermarket uh, uh, pack that you buy at the store, uh, and you just put that around the box, or you even put that around your phone that says, look, I'm part of this tribe, this is my Marlboro tribe, or whatever brand it is that you prefer. So there will be ways to get around it. Social media is profoundly powerful. Facebook uh, and other um, uh, social uh, networks like that uh, are also places where smokers will congregate, and there will be brand clubs. So it's going to be difficult. Alison Stewart-Allen, we shall see what comes of it. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you.